I really find that working in the queer community, working in the Asian community, um, has really helped my career in a lot of ways. And um, it's the stories that I want to tell. It's the audiences I want to screen to. Um, it, it for me is really important that I can say I'm a queer filmmaker. I really want to be able to, um, you know, champion, you know, uh, uh, a cause and and to really uh, say, you know, to friends that this is what I'm interested in. This is um, the community that I'm a part of. Um, I could make films, you know, that aren't set in this community, but um, to me, they wouldn't be coming from a personal place. And I feel like in order to uh, really just be true to myself, um, you know, these are the films that I'm going to make. And, and I, um, I really am proud of that fact. How, you know, what's a better way to, to make yourself stand out than to be really uniquely you and not try and be every other filmmaker? So, um, you know, uh, having this, um, you know, this connection to the gay Asian community, um, you know, makes me stand out. And I think that's cool. And I want to, you know, make films for this small group of people, um, but that hopefully, you know, um, feels universal and that people outside of the community can understand it and then not only understand it but also feel um, like they have a, a greater sense of the world and the people who live in this world that there are gay Asian people who may not be you know um, uh, a big part of uh, a big part of society but that are an important part of society. The inspiration for Dole First Birthday was um, really about uh, how I feel about family right now. And as a gay Korean American man, um, what is my family going to look like? Um, and there's a lot of happiness and joy, but also anxiety and fear about kind of what the future has in store for me. And for me, I felt like I needed to explore all these ideas in a film. Um, I think it's really easy for uh, members of the gay Asian American community to separate their identities. You're gay or you're Asian. And um, what happens when you start to think about family is that you um, are forced to kind of deal with them together. Um, and all the uh, emotions that come up from that conflict, I really wanted to explore. Um, and so, uh, saw some footage um, of my first birthday ceremony and thought that it would be such a perfect event to um, talk about these issues and um, to uh, explore what it would be like for me, you know, to um, see family and deal with family in a real way. Uh, is the first birthday when you're supposed to pick an item thing? Yeah, so... What the, did you pick? So the first birthday ceremony, the, you know, the family lays out a whole bunch of items in front of you, and uh, the baby is supposed to choose the item that, uh, you know, um, predicts their future. And so if they pick the pencil, they're a scholar. If they pick, um, you know, the money, they're a businessman. If they pick... Uh, the string, it means that they live a long time. Um, I picked the string. Um, and it's funny because my parents didn't remember what I picked, you know, when I asked them and we had to watch the tape really carefully to, to see. It's like, oh, that's what I picked. And it's funny because um, that's the whole point of the ceremony in a lot of ways, but um, families rarely remember <laughs> what, you know, people chose. Writing two features right now. Um, one that's uh, set in a Korean spa, uh, which is going to be interesting. And then one about a crazy Korean grandmother who uh, kidnaps her grandchild uh, from her gay son because she doesn't approve of his lifestyle.